Mm, wow. Hiya, gorgeous. Oh, what a luscious looking hunk of flesh you are. Uh, thank you. I guess. Who are you? <gasps> How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm Black Widow, of course. The femme fatale of all femme fatales. Know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I was just thinking it was time I found my 50th, uh, another husband. It would be quite a horror. Uh, I mean, an honor to have me as a bride. <laughs> just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. You'll never want to leave my little nest. Mm. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. Oh, drat! Uh, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. Hey! Don't touch that thread! Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment, curious to see what's written on it. The wind blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand, but he remembers what it said well enough. Checkmate! Only chess pieces allowed in chessboard land! That's right! Humans aren't allowed in and never will be! Stay out! I must insist, Your Highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the Wizier and the Princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, Your Highness. I want to impress the new King and Queen of the Realm as much as you do. As Queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't Queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession, therefore I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your Highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Quiet, Your Highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. I'm sorry, Your Majesties. I'm partial to both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What a ridiculously stupid idea! Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh yes, obviously a man of high intelligence. Mm. 
The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. Alexander picks up the Red Queen's scarf. Hey! What do you think you're doing there? Get your hands off me! Hey! Alexander picks up Rotten Tomato and puts him away. One never knows when one will need a Rotten Tomato. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Ye gads! Is that cold? <laughs> Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Hello, friend. Aren't you an odd-looking little fellow? I'm not. Odd-looking you are. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize you could speak. Speech not? Funny is, speech I am and nothing but. Would you be interested in this? That I like not. Take it away, do. Alexander doesn't want to alter the forest. Alexander holds the sentence out to the creature. This sentence seems in need of an ending. Perhaps you could finish it? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, what I do! Where are you going to? Like you, I do! Go I with you! Well, that was certainly interesting. It looks like Alexander now has a passenger. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. The pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Ouch! Ow! Ooh, 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 ouch! The pond is no longer boiling, but it's hardly bath water. Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Alexander picks up the brick. I'm Alexander of Daventry. Who are you? What difference does it make? Just come on over here. I'll tell you my life history if you still want to hear it. <laughs> you aren't going to listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. That's odd. The gardener just disappeared. 